so I had a small introduction to start with like um, it's very also interesting for me to talk about artificial intelligence in arts that uh, the music and uh, you created a character and doing music with it and it involves itself um, which brings me the question is how did you decide to start uh, teaching a machine how to design music and how did it evolve itself Is that, have we started? Is yes, that, okay. we started. Um, okay, so um, I spend a lot of time thinking. I spend a lot of time looking around me and um, considering my environment and mm -hmm. who I am as a person, my identity how I interact with people, how people interact with me, how I interact with technology. And um, my very first memory of um, computers is playing the Atari, um, a computer game called Moon Patrol, okay. which was um, two, like kind of eight bit, I guess. Um, Platform game, very simple, quite monotonous, but uh, it's just like looking into a black hole basically with just little pixels moving across the screen. And, um, and I've always uh, man maintained this um, or felt this ambience between um, the user and the interaction with uh, computer movement and sound and and how that relates to how you um, sort of the ergonomics of interacting with 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 computers and with artificial intelligence essentially so it's 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 something that is um, ingrained in me for for for, for a long time um, and that's the beginning really that was that's the seed mm -hmm. um, in terms of where I am now that is the, ev the sort of evolution of it I was again sort of um, for my most recent album Azid um, whilst I was touring I was taking like a silver or chrome mannequin out with me because I wanted to spend time whilst I was playing, just sort of observing um, the, the shape of the body. Yeah, the one that we're seeing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, uh, so I was taking like this physical mannequin around with me for ages because for me, like performing and and it is is quite instinctive, mm -hmm. you know. But I always felt kind of strange being up there by myself, just just myself and the audience there was no there was no interactivity for me outside of just sort of like looking at the computer which is kind of cool but when you're push, just pushing around sort of yeah. gets a bit bored so so i was like i need something which is almost like a comfort blanket do you know what i mean really? something with, yeah kind of you know what i mean it's yeah, like how it Apex, it's like, yeah, it's like how Apex tomb with these teddy bears do you know yeah, what i mean yeah. these giant yeah. teddy bears like when you're like a, when you're like a, um when you're like a, um, a touring producer and you're moving from space to space, it can be quite alienating, do you know what I mean? Uh, so sometimes you need something up there for yourself to have like a, to, to sort of be there, be there for you, like a com comfort security or something like this. But no, the, bit, the, the sort of like, the larger thing was just to sort of consider the, 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 the body and the shape of a sort of, um, something that was artificial and how I could bring it alive essentially um, so I started taking it out and performing with it and then I started modeling it and talking to people about bringing this um, physical thing to into more of a more of a sort of um, into more of a sort of high-tech digital um, performance you know yeah. but not in a not in a sort of well, it was a there was a process. First, it was in a more 
I wanted to, it to have movement, so it was always moving, always changing form. Um, it could be fractal, it could be dissolving, it could Can be I liquefying. Yeah, sure. Harrison, it's not just uh, how it does music, it's also changing itself. Is it deciding that also? The visuals part or also, or just the music part? Um, the, the visuals is not necessarily my side so so my side is always more from the musical side so the concept of the visuals was mine and then from there it goes to the certain people who build it to translate what it is that I want to do with the music so it's always changing form is the idea um, so I did two performances yesterday one which involved the, the sort of the first stage of the evolution which is more the modeling and the scaling and looking at the actual what it could do and, and the dissolving and then the next stage was the AI phase which was more video gaming so it's more of a video environment um, and then that is sort of on a much deeper level on a much molecular level in fact sort of taking my bodily functions in terms of motion capture image captures um, and then when I perform it's much more of a symbiotic sort of relationship yeah. with the music. Um, so it's kind of, um, it's kind of, it's kind of deceptive in a way because it's like, because it's like, oh, it's almost something sort of like, like an acceleration of my movements whilst I'm playing as well. Do you know what I mean? So it's almost like sort of shadow play, mirror interactivity, game theory vibes yeah. going into it and all sorts. So. so, yeah, it's, it's very interesting. I mean, it's, uh, you, it's, it's, it's also developing itself, you know? It's also how, how the, the question actually what I want to ask is, like, first you created it. Was it, like, more simple and after that it got more sophisticated? It's, uh, is it able to create on its own? And it, it's, is it evolving on its own? And would you would you like to say for seeing that the character can be become a real musician besides you? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I miss my flight. The original flight that I had to 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 come here, I missed my flight, and I just remember being at Heathrow because I was going to basically I didn't have a flight to get over here, so I was like, fuck, excuse me, what, 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 like what am I going to do? And. Uh, so I stayed in the hotel in Heathrow and I was like, okay, maybe I'll have to do the live set from mm -hmm. here. Maybe I'll have to send the guys sort of like, can you get a computer? I send the music and I send the sort of coordinates and you can do the performance without me. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, yeah so, so that sort of auxiliary mindset, I was like, okay, that's actually where in the future, if you're talking about evolution, that's kind of where I would like to take it. Because, the, again, like from a conceptual and from a philosophical point of view, the only real reason why I started it was because I was considering things like mortality, mm -hmm. um, age, like <clears throat> what if I'm not able to perform? What, you know, what if I, my ears sort of like, ha, but I still need, I still want to have my creativity being sort of like mm -hmm. as a satellite sort of performance. So, yeah, it, you know, the idea is that I'd be able to do a performance with Young Paints without actually ever being there. Do you know what I mean? That's that's so interesting and scary at the same time, by the way. It's like, um, it's actually, you create a character, your style, and then maybe after that it becomes you, but it can be more than your style and it, it can evolve itself and maybe um, do other parts of the work. Yeah, like for sure. Like vocals and yeah. like... Yeah, for sure. That's basically where I want to take it. Do yeah, you know what really? I mean? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's that. That is the end game, as far as I'm concerned. That it can, I can sort of talk to it and tell it to go create a drum loop, or you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. That it gets to that level of sophistication that I don't actually have to be at a computer doing anything. You know. That's so interesting. It's like, do you think, like, for example, um, okay, if a artificial intelligence, a musician artificial intelligence, and um, let's say uh, another artificial intelligence come up and design an animated movie, for example. 
those two can understand each other and create an actual animated movie, for yes. example. Yeah, for sure. Like, I mean, in, in the wider sort of realm of entertainment, you could have almost like a, like a WWE wrestling sort of like artificial intelligence sort of like music off or you know some sort of like you know competition which is I mean you've already seen it already with like robot wars mm -hmm, and things yeah. like this it's just a super high-tech sophisticated evolution of the of the of the sort of archaic physical sort of robots sort of like chopping each other and things like this yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like really taking it into like a, a completely different onto a completely different level Sometimes I feel like it's a, of course it's very interesting, but in, in the same time it's a bit scary. So you and me, like the, let's say as an artist, may no longer be needed, maybe in 50 years, 60 years. Do you think it will come up to that, end up to that, or? or Depends if you see yourself as an artist. I mean, I, I, I do see myself as an artist, but I see myself also as a scientist. Mm -hmm. I see myself also as a, as a as a writer i see myself also as a director i don't just see myself as a musician for mm -hmm. sure so maybe if you speak to people who you know they're in a band and they play guitars and they want to interact with people and and, and play drums and things then that's a question for them but my interest is technology and future technology and so um it's not very scary for me okay. in fact every step of the way like my my whole interaction with it has always been like what can this be like very simple questions what can this be yeah. like, you know yes i love making music yes i love making techno yes i love dancing and all this all these sort of things but there's much bigger questions for me gender politics um yeah. all these sort of things uh, sort of an anatomy you do know what i mean so um, archaeology sort of like you know um, sort of like indigenous interactions with music and and how that interacts on dance and form and patterns and you know for me I was never I was never particularly good at maths in terms of like a teacher asking me work this out and blah 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 I was I had some sort of like disconnect in terms of that but I really love how maths looks so for me it's almost like a, a like a mathematical expression do you know what I mean in terms of like my approach in terms of in terms of music um, so yeah I, I guess it just comes down to what your approach is at the end of the day do you have any other future projects about the I same that you do or are you, you um, thinking about creating another artificial intelligence in, in different genre Happens, not not happens. really because I mean this for me this is like a life work because it's not it's by n n it's not really anywhere near to sort of like being perfect you know um, there's a lot of frustrations that come through it especially when you're trying to um, perform with it at the same time because you don't the predictability of where things are going you don't really know and as a human you always want to typically control things to control the outcome of things um, so there's always that level of uh, sort of unpredictability, but there's also like a sort of like there's also like a gaming aspect as well. Do you know what I mean? So it's still not like doing everything itself. You know, we still does it make errors, like human errors? Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, I mean, all all throughout yesterday, my the the the, the link between the network was disconnecting and all these sort of things. So yeah, there's always errors. Um, um, but in terms of like the environments, in terms of like how the gaming looks, I'm pretty satisfied with how, where it is right now. Like, um, you think about doing another album with it? Um, I mean, the thing is, is that it's always used. I mean, f yesterday I played for 90 minutes, which is kind of unusual. I usually play for 60 minutes. So the first 60 minutes was taken up with literally just live artificial intelligence interacting with sounds, the sounds that have been put in and the coordinates that have put in. And then for pretty much the last half an hour, 20 minutes, were basically tunes which have evolved out of the, the sort of mass data that Young Paint creates and then sort of goes into more of a sort of articulated track 
form. Do you know what I mean? So, um, so yeah, the first part of the performance was much more sort of like objects of sounds, bass lines sort of like moving and different tones, different frequencies and blah, blah, blah. And then after that, it's sort of like, okay, once you take that sort of like seeming chaos and seeming mess, you sort of transpose it into, into the human sculpting and yeah. add that sort of, and then that's the track sort of thing. It informs the process, you know. Um, so, so yeah, music. You know, again, it's it comes down to efficiency. Like in my in my ideal world, in my future sort of like uh, world, I'd love to basically step into the studio or the laboratory and basically sort of like write a few programs as to say, okay, this is sort of like the direction that I'd like the music to sort of go set it off, come back half an hour later, see what's sort of been programmed and essentially, yeah, cr being able to sort of create tracks, new, um, albums, just constantly, do you know what I mean? So there is no, there is no sort of, you know, you're sort of circumnavigating the human sort of um, potential for breaking down, I guess, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Which is, um, These are familiar stories, you know, from like um, Transformers, Robots in the Skies, to sort of like um, Frankenstein, you know, to Avatar, you know, th you know, to... On the past, it's evolving itself. Yeah, you know, Predator, Terminator, yeah. it's all the same, sending something else out to do, to do sort of like, um, to do like, to do things that humans can't necessarily sort of Even like do. Um, this day before I was leaving the house the, on the television it was like it's artificial intelligence in your house it's it can um, program everything it doesn't need you I mean it depends on you but it doesn't actually need you and it's like it starts from our house and it's like everywhere now mm. so it's like a kind of unpredictable future but you, s you seem to enjoying it well, I mean, it's an unpredictable world, do you know yeah, what I mean? There's course. like, it's... Not uh, just artificial <laughs> intelligence, you know, you wake up tomorrow and you're not, not yeah, knowing yeah, what, yeah. what's going to happen. It's fun, you know, I mean, I bought, I bought, um, I mean, don't get me wrong, there is obviously the sinister side to, to w the potential for what it, what it can yeah. do, and that's, when you have, like, um, politics and wars and all these sort of things, then there's always the realm, that, there's always the realm for that. Um, but my approach is much more from like a graphic novel, comics. Um, um, I bought my son the other day a Pokemon, basically, and and it basically, um, in terms of training the mind, it asks you to okay, look at this picture. Does it look like this? Does it have this? Oh, blah blah blah. Does it have this power? Da, 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 da. And you talked, and he's like talking to it. Yes, no. Da, 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 da. And then he has to interact with it, and then oh, your Pokemon must be this sort of thing. Do you know what I mean? So it's kind of he's already got that sort of how already. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. That he's interacting with, and there's for me there was nothing like that when I was growing up. For me, it was just the Atari. Do you know? So. So yeah, it's kind of already, and he's four, so yeah, yeah I think it's coming. <laughs> That's good. You pretty much explained everything that I'm, I was going to ask and everything. Maybe there are some other questions that we can listen. Okay, cool. So you are Saf? Eğer soru varsa alabiliriz. Maybe not. There's no questions. No questions, cool. <laughs> you want uh, you wanna add anything else about it? No? Not to, unless you want to ask me something else, but yeah, that, that was...
much. No problem. It was very nice to meet you. Likewise, likewise.